Man, don't you guys want to be out in the Hamptons right now instead of this shit? <laughs> I'm just trying not to get beat up before I get out of here. The day's almost over, Frank. Let's not make fun of anyone. God forbid we make a joke about being in the Hamptons. It is a stunningly beautiful day today in New York City. Saturday, June 13th, second Saturday of the Black Lives Matter protests. We are here again by Washington Square Park to hand out flyers to make a difference. And on such a nice sunny day like today, Frankie Boy would rather be doing a whole bunch of different things. Perhaps dancing around the sprinklers with some Dominican girls, laying out in the Hamptons with some Russian bombshells. Yeah, I mean, I did spend over $1,000 on flyers and employing people, so I could definitely afford some Russian girls. Uh, that being said, Frankie Boy made the right choice today. We are down here. Uh, last week, you know, we were in the crowd, huge speech, bunch of stuff, handing out flyers. My father was kind of irritated that I went down, you know, was a around a bunch of people because, you know, they're one of the COVID idiots. But uh, today we are going to mainly respect his wishes so I don't have to hear a bunch of bull crap. Uh, we already hired about 11 people to hand out flyers. Uh, I had one guy talk to those people, give them the flyers. And right now they're at the square park distributing them. So, you know, we're going to walk over and kind of hang around the outskirts and just see what's going on. So last week we were handing out the Second Amendment flyers as well as the Wi-Fi radiation flyers. This week it's just going to be the Wi-Fi radiation flyers. I'll put it up on the screen right now. The main difference is that there is now a warning at the top telling people they are likely being radiated at this protest. And there's also a link to my YouTube channel at the bottom of the page. So it's not just like $1,000 on flyers and people uh, just to get the word out. I actually have some advertising right now on the bottom of the flyer, although I'm not sure if that's a good idea. Technically speaking, you know, if we hand out 5,000 flyers to you know, all of these people, you know, the impression rate is actually pretty good. You know, I'm not completely throwing my money down the drain. I am advertising. That being said, there's a high likelihood that a lot of the people at these protests are hired, are not real, you know, don't actually care about what's on the flyer. Unlike last week, we actually got 11 people. It's funny, last week I messaged at least 20 people on Craigslist and not one person showed up. Not one person showed up, yeah. This, this week was a, a little better though. So we got 11 people handing out flyers today. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think the protests are as crowded as last week, but we'll see what happens. So we're sitting here on Broadway in Waverly and we were about to head over to Washington Square Park, but there's actually a rally at the park at 3 p.m. So it looks like one of the groups is heading down the street right now. Maybe we'll give them flyers as they come by. I'm not a great judge of numbers, but it looks like anywhere between like high hundreds, like eight, nine hundred people to up to 2,000 people. You know, it's not like a, oh, is that the guy from the vegan protest? That's the guy from the vegan protest that broke my camera. I'm pretty sure that's him. The bald guy with the white beard. I'm nothing but a big piece of shit. Big fat piece of shit. Well, oh. He must work for Antifa or something. 
I better not let him see me. Then he'll follow me around. This is basically it, guys. If I hand out 5,000 flyers in the middle of New York City and there's no news stories, there's no news coverage, no one says anything about it, nothing happens. If I hand out 5,000 of these flyers and nothing happens, what more can I do? What more can I do? You know, how much more money can I spend? How much more money can I afford to spend? What is there to do next if I hand out flyers to literally every single person at these protests in New York City? What more is there to do? So this is nothing like it was last Saturday. I mean, there's still a decent amount of people here, but you know, most people are just sitting around hanging out. You know, there's no like angry, angry Black Lives Matter protest. Actually, I think a lot of these people are the protesters and they're just hanging out and resting, but I'm gonna have to figure out where the majority of them went. So I'm here at Washington Square Park and it's just like an average day in New York City. You know, there's no protests here to my understanding. I'm getting a little aggravated that I hired 10 people to hand out flyers and I'm spending $500. And I mean, at least they handed out flyers in the group of people, but I gotta figure out where these protests primarily are and see if I can get these people over there. Hopefully it's somewhere in lower Manhattan so I don't have to, uh, I don't have to pay them that much more. But as you guys can see, you know, there's just a you know, fairly empty park over here. I'm like looking on the, the Twitter and the Instagram accounts for the George Floyd protests in New York City. And I can't really figure out where they are right now. I know there's some stuff going on in Queens and Brooklyn, but we're, we're way too far. I'm like DMing the Justice for George New York City Instagram account. Like, oh, do you know where the protests are? I'm trying to join them. And I think this guy like knows what I'm trying to do because he won't tell me. And I'm getting kind of pissed. There's actually a decent amount of people in this park. So I will have the people hand out flyers, but I can't imagine there's more than you know, a few hundred people total in the park right now. Whereas, you know, last week, you literally had six, 7,000 people just standing around. All right, so I got a little relief because some protesters did arrive. I'm hoping some more people show up. We'll see. We'll see if more people show up. Hey, I'm sorry, do you guys know where the main protest is in the Manhattan? Is it here or is it somewhere else? Is it the Connie Park? There's a lot of Yeah, there's a lot of yeah. There is one that's moving up right now. I'm DMing them. Who answers those DMs? I'm gonna smack them upside the head. That guy just whispered they're not getting paid. Of course they're not getting paid with a 200k Instagram account. So this is apparently the biggest group in uh this is apparently the biggest group in Manhattan. I'm not as great of a manager as I thought I was. I told those guys to go hand out flyers in that huge crowd in the beginning, and they just followed the crowd. I forgot to tell them to go to Washington Square Park after you handed out flyers in the crowd. I mean, I did say beforehand, we're gonna hand out flyers at Washington Square Park, uh, but they, they just went with the crowd. So now everyone is back at the Square Park. It's about 2.45, so in about 15 minutes, everyone should be gathered here. Three o'clock at the park right now, this is when all the protesters should be gathering. So this seems like it's gonna be our, our biggest chance today to hand out as many flyers as possible. And there's a bunch of them in the garbage. Great. At least I know they're doing their job. Yeah, you know, I would I would hope that people would hold on to the flyers instead of just throwing them out. I mean, there's only a few hundred people here today compared to uh, last Saturday, so. But I think it's only going to get less and less uh, less and less push. You know, I said in last Saturday's video that that was probably going to be, you know, the most momentum because it's like the first Saturday of the whole movement. So I didn't really expect that great of a turn up today, but. And this is probably going to be kind of like our last chance in general to really hand out flyers. So I'm not too worried about it. So I have eight brothers. You know that one in three black men end up in the system. So how many do you think that eight of us brothers end up in the system? Seven. Wow. Seven of them. There was only one brother that did not get or had not been arrested or end up in the system. That's not because we are criminals. That's not because we, we, we you know, have done anything wrong. That's because the system is set up is to, to literally rotate us into the system like modern day slavery. So today we say no more. 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 We need your energy today. We need your 
protesters are a little tired after getting radiated for two weeks. I don't really know what happened. I don't know if Soros's budget ran out or what, but you know, there's only a few hundred people here today. So I think we're gonna see if I can get some of these guys to go to the other protests today and hand out flyers. I am so over this. This is making me think more and more that all of the protesters for the most part are like paid and hired actors. If you look around, like 99% of people are wearing a mask. So if they're going to suddenly say that there's a spike in cases or something, they're a bunch of liars. 99% of people are wearing a mask. And anyone that isn't is usually by themselves. It's about 3.30. This guy has been talking for half an hour. Uh, we handed out flyers to pretty much everyone in the park right now. So we're going to drive down to City Hall and see if there's a crowd down there too. And maybe I'll get a couple more guys to hand out flyers for another hour or two. Total so far, I think we handed out just under 2,000 flyers. So as I said, I'm just waiting on one guy, and as soon as he's back, I'm going to take three guys down to City Hall, and we're going to hand out some more flyers. Oh, that's cute. Right before we leave, everyone's getting on their knees. Some type of ritual. I was looking forward to going home. You know, I've been hanging around doing nothing for like five hours, waiting for these guys to hand out flyers so I could pay them. Now, you know, we're in Brooklyn. Uh, we're following this group. I think they're going back to Manhattan. So what we ended up doing was... I Ubered these guys in a separate car to Brooklyn, and then we found the protesters and they're walking back to Manhattan. So we stopped the car, we took the flyers out of the car, and I got four guys in that group of protesters that are still handing out flyers right now. Uh, so hopefully they can hand out all the rest of those flyers. It should be pretty easy with how many people are there. I'm just gonna follow this group slowly in my car until they get to City Hall, and then we'll try to park around there and we'll, we'll hang outside the crowd and film. Where are you guys going? Where are you guys going? Brooklyn Bridge? I don't know how long this is gonna be. You know, it might take like an hour just for us to uh, to get behind this crowd. It actually doesn't look like the crowd's moving though, so I don't know what they're doing. So I've been sitting in the car for 10 minutes and we haven't moved at all. I think I'll hang out down in the city until like 6.37, but then I'm just gonna get out of here and it's already 5.15, so uh, we'll give this another hour, an hour and a half. Hopefully they're in City Hall by then. If not, I'll just pay these guys, let them hand out the rest of the flyers and we'll say we, uh, we'll say we did our best. Say we did our best. So we're on the Brooklyn Bridge to head back into Manhattan, and you know all the protesters are on the side of the bridge. It looks like they're crossing. Looks like some of them are hanging around, but uh, they're going back into Manhattan. So we should be able to get all the flyers handed out within an hour and be out of here. It's unfortunate that most people are really, really brainwashed, and you know some people didn't even want to take a look at the flyer. But again, I think this is the most important thing I can do right now, you know, get the message out about this weaponry. All right, so we crossed the bridge and I parked right on the side of Foley Square, which is highly illegal, but there's a bunch of other cars parked here, so I don't think it really matters right now. Uh, the, the crowd should be coming up, I guess, within 20 minutes, 30 minutes. I don't really know how long it's gonna take them, but this is pretty much right off the Brooklyn Bridge, so they should be coming up soon. So this is Foley Square. There's already, you know, quite a crowd over here, maybe like 100, 150 people. Uh, there's some cops chilling over there. And, and the protesters should be coming up there. Throughout the day, I've asked at least 15 or 20 different sources where these protests are, where they're going, and not once has anyone given me like a straight answer. So it just seems like these people are blindly following the crowd doing whatever. 
but this Foley Square is right by City Hall. So even if they do go to City Hall, we can just literally walk down the street and we'll be right there. Pretty sure this building is City Hall. So we can just walk down there. So we walked from Foley Square down to the Brooklyn Bridge, which is maybe like a quarter mile because the crowd wasn't coming in. It looks like they're about to cross the bridge right now. So this is the front of the protest. But, but there's thousands and thousands and thousands of people here. So it's gonna take them at least like... So we're gonna see where they're stopping. So I'm gonna go to the front of this protest and, and walk with them. It looks like we are congregating here across from the Immigrant Industrial Savings Bank. So compared to the Saturday Manhattan crowd, there's a lot more black people here. Like, I would say this crowd is actually 70 to 80% black people, whereas Manhattan, it was the other way around last week. I'm getting some creepy, like, secret cult group vibes here, which I'm not liking, but you know, there's like groups of people hanging around, looking at each other. <coughs> <coughs> and ever since I came down here, I started coughing. So I think there's some type of, uh, some type of radiation weaponry going on. Because I haven't been able to stop coughing since I got down here. I've been standing away from the crowd, but it looks like there's at least a few thousand people down here, as we said earlier when they were walking by. How do you spell racist? How do you spell racist? How do you spell murderer? How do you spell murderer? Huge crowd. Probably gonna do another nonsense speech like they did the other day. So there's still people just piling in. I'm hoping by the time these guys get here with the flyers that they're done handing most of them out. If not, I'll have them hand the rest of them out and then I'll get the hell out of this shithole. So I think everyone's taking a knee again. Man, don't you guys want to be out in the Hamptons right now instead of this shit? <laughs> I'm just trying not to get beat up before I get out of here. The day's almost over, Frank. Let's not make fun of anyone. God forbid we make a joke about being in the Hamptons. So there's thousands of people at this protest and allegedly there's still people at the Barclay Center. But I don't know if like the Instagram account that's tracking this is just giving this info and the majority of the people are here already, but I, I would guess there's at least 10, 20,000 people protesting in New York City as a whole between all of the boroughs. Apparently those guys are still on the Brooklyn side handing out flyers, so this crowd is gigantic. They might be done before even handing any out over here. This is absolutely insane. There's a few thousand people there, and it seems like it's just more and more and more people. All right, so people just turn around, now they're walking the other way. I'm kind of glad I hired like nine out of 10 people were black because the one person that was handing out flyers that was white barely handed out any. So th these people are literally being racist. Like a white person handing out flyers they won't take it from and the black person, they'll gladly take it from them. It's kind of funny, actually. Like, isn't the reason they're here to end this nonsense? So the protests are over. I'm just waiting for these guys to come over from Brooklyn so I can pay them. 
I'm out like $700 cash today, plus the money I spent on the flyers, but oh well. We'll see how many subscribers we get on YouTube. You know, I'm not too optimistic. These guys might have like not passed out all the flyers, but I mean, what are you gonna do? Try my best. So thank you guys for joining me today. Uh, this is probably the last time we're gonna do this as, you know, the, the momentum for this is kind of dying down and I'm completely over this nonsense. So uh, you guys enjoy the rest of your night.